This week is National Crime Victim Rights Week, uh, but truly at the Montana Department of Justice, we're concerned about crime victims' um, rights being uh, fulfilled all the time. So, uh, But it's a good opportunity for us to get out, and in this case, in this forum here today in Missoula, to hear from the victims themselves and also from many who uh, work with victims. Um, to find out if there are things we need to do better, uh, maybe there are things we're doing okay, and uh, we just want to listen. And as you might imagine, there'll be here some folks here today who have some very difficult circumstances that they've lived through and maybe still are living through. And uh, you really have to appreciate and honor uh, those who come forward and, and talk about um, their experiences of victims of crime. But we also have to honor those who can't talk about it uh, uh, because there are some very real reasons for that obviously with uh, the trauma, embarrassment and many other emotions and things, the, the hurt that comes with being a victim of crime. So um, we hope to learn a lot here today. We hope that others will continue the dialogue and talking about um, whether or not we're um, getting the justice for victims of crime that they so deserve but also helping them move along and heal, giving them in love and compassion. So Now, this is not the first uh, crime victim gathering you've had. We had one in Great Falls, have, yes. Have you, have you found that the stories are sometimes strikingly similar? Uh, you know, they are. And what we're hearing is we've had some victims of crime come forward that um, are a little older and were uh, victims many, many years ago. Right. And, and they uh, can talk about the lapses that we had as a society. Uh, we weren't giving them compassion. They had nowhere to go. Uh, they were confused by the justice system, which, as you know, can be uh, somewhat confusing. It would be terrifying sometimes. Right, terrifying. And you add that to someone who's been traumatized, um, someone who's been physically, emotionally hurt, um, uh, it can make it very difficult. And, and as you know, we have folks who don't, don't come forward uh, to self-report the fact that they've uh, been victimized. And that's unfortunate, but some of them do it because um, they don't feel that they're going to get justice and they don't feel that they're going to be given compassion. So uh, those are things we need to change. We, uh, we certainly uh, need to, to talk about it and, and see whether there are ways we can do better. We are here because we are here, um, our, our jobs are here to serve people who are victims of crime. And so they're the reason that we do what we do. And what a great opportunity during its National Victims of Crime Week, what a great opportunity to hear, hear what they have to say, right. get some feedback. As you know, we've worked really, really hard at um, improving our delivery of services to victims over the past couple of years. Really proud of the progress that we've made, but we can always do better. Now you have you have an entire section of your office set aside for crime victims, right? We do. Yes, right. we have a special How's victims unit. It's great. We've gone from what was historically a one-person job to I've got seven and a half full-time employees now doing nothing but working with um, victims of crime. Are they too busy? Well, we're unfortunately we're always too busy. Right. We're we're trying to get more. Right, right. But but what I mean is, uh, do you find that? Uh, the more you focus on uh, serving the victims of crime, the more people come forward. Um, we are seeing increased reporting numbers, which is which is very encouraging, mm -hmm. and we're also seeing increased prosecution rates as well.